Hey everybody, this is David at Boneyard Bees. What I wanted to show you here is, right there's the queen, first of all. Right there is a cage where she's installed. We installed these packages in, in the new section Friday. And this is one of those old frames. You can tell by the old gray looking of the wood. A lot of these frames, I, I did previous videos you can see see the age of the frames and I actually had a place down there below all these highs where I had these some of them hanging out over winter uh, and the reason I wanted to what I wanted to show you today was how well they use these old frames over and after these just sit outside all winter and you know it's got down into single digits if there was anything on the frame it's gonna be froze which in my opinion wax moth eggs do not overwinter in uh, frames, I just don't believe that. Uh, even if they did, if you got strong colonies, they're going to take care of the problem. Now, she's already laying in this frame already. She's been released. I went down through here, and it's the same through all these hives down through here. They've been all released, and they're all laying. And while we're on the subject of packages, I want to just explain a little bit something to everybody. Now, I say this every year. We do bring in a number of packages every single year. And the reason we do that is to keep diversity in the yard and to keep from inbreeding. In my opinion, by keeping your genetics different is one big key to keeping your bees calm. If you got the same bees breeding queens over and over and over every year without bringing in different stock, you're going to have inbreeding and you're going to have mean aggressive bees. Now, people's going to dispute that. That's fine. You got, you know, everyone's got their own opinion. I'm just talking about experience and how well it's worked for us. Something has, you know, that's what I believe is one of the biggest reasons that our bees are so calm and that we can work them. I don't have sandals on today, it's too cold. But I usually have tank top sandals and, and these bees are just as calm and gentle as can be. You can't do that to many hives. And that is the reason. And then people come back and say, well, if you was gonna do that, you'd, you would just brought in queens. Well, look, when you bring in packages, you also bring in a lot of drones. A lot of people don't realize when you bring in packages see the drones all over this drones is what we need to breed queens just bringing in queens is not going to do you a whole lot of good we're bringing diversity in here not only just in queens but in the drones as well because we breed queens here and i want to explain that up front so people will understand why we bring them in like that uh, now enough of that you can see right here, these are the plastic frames that we put in. And a lot of people don't like plastic frames because they claim they won't draw them out. But, well, we put these in Friday. And I don't know if you can make it out, hopefully, in the video here. Where, about where my thumb is, down in those cells, is eggs. If we can make this out or not, I don't know. But if not, there's eggs in there. So they've drawn this frame out. Started drawing it out pretty good and they do very well early now i'll admit later in the year they are harder for them to draw out because but you got to remember when you put packages in packages will draw out because they're pretty much in swarm mode because they got a lot of build up in their body a lot of wax that's been held back for a long time so when you release those things they go at it hard and fast and you put sugar water to them they really really work for you hard and and these bees are good genetics anyway so now here's another i will show you this frame so that's the one i just showed you okay there's where the queen see the queen right there she's a marked queen there's a cage we gotta cut the cage off one of those old frames and some of these frames uh not on this one particularly but some of them just has a smidgen of old wax that was cut out and they work excellent as well. And I want to show you something else here real quick. I'll put it on pause. 
we also got a pollen feeder out because when you're when you have now this is not for everyone that's just having bees in general just for a little bit of honey but if you're getting into it at the commercial level and you're running almost 300 hives here in one spot you're probably gonna run out of resources in your area so we offer them pollen and we're gonna offer them pollen through the whole year if they need it they'll take it if they don't they won't same thing with the sugar water if they need it they'll take it if they don't want it and they got a good nectar flow they won't but there's so many bees here they'll deplete this area really easy so we go through a lot of sugar because this is a breeding yard we only breed uh, nukes and we make queens here and that's all we do in this yard we have our honey yards in another location and we don't feed sugar water only there just to get started and begin the year once the supers goes on they don't have any more sugar added to them so that's about it i just wanted to bring that up today and show you about the frames and explain to you a little bit about the packages and why we do that and Please like and subscribe to our YouTube to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. And I'll put our store number and website and everything, all our information below. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.